Slide the latch to the right and lift the battery out. Remove the 13 2.5 mm by 8 mm base screws. Remove the two 2.5mm by 8mm screws on the back of the laptop. Remove the 2.5mm by 8mm locking screw. Using a screwdriver, slide the optical drive tab to the right. Slide the optical drive out of the laptop. Loosen the two retaining screws. Lift the door away from the laptop. Slide the memory latch arms away from the memory sticks until the memory lifts up at a 45 degree angle. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Using a flathead screwdriver, carefully pry up the power button cover by inserting the screwdriver into the groove on the right side of the power button cover. Remove the two 2.5mm two by 5mm screws. Carefully lift up the keyboard and place it on the display. Lift the cable latch up to remove the keyboard cable. Unplug the two antenna cables. Press the two retaining clips until the wireless card pivots up. Remove the wireless card from the motherboard. Disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cables. Unscrew the display cable grounding screw. Unplug and loosen the LCD cable. Remove the two 2.5mm two by 5mm hinge screws. Lift the display away from the laptop. Loosen the captive screw. Unplug the standby switch.
unplug the touchpad. Lift the palm rest from the base assembly. Unplug the fan cable. Remove the two 2.5mm two by 5mm screws. Remove the fan from the base. Loosen the four heatsink screws. Carefully lift away the heatsink from the motherboard. Turn the CPU locking screw approximately 180 degrees to unlock the CPU. Lift the CPU away from the CPU socket. Remove the six 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Carefully lift the express card assembly away from the motherboard. Remove the two VGA port screws. Unplug the speaker cable. Unscrew the three 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Remove the motherboard from the base. The remaining piece is going to be the base assembly. Replace the motherboard. Screw in the three motherboard screws. Plug in the speaker cable. Replace the two VGA port screws. Place the express card assembly onto the motherboard and press firmly over the connector to make sure it seats properly. Replace the six screws.
Place the CPU into the CPU socket. Lock the CPU into place by turning the locking screw approximately 180 degrees clockwise. It's recommended to clean the heatsink and reapply thermal pads and paste before reinstallation. Place the heatsink onto the motherboard. Tighten down the heatsink screws in the numbered order listed on the heatsink. Place the fan into the base and secure with the two screws. Plug in the fan cable. Place the palm rest onto the base and snap down the edges. Plug in the touchpad. Plug in the standby switch. Tighten down the captive screw. Place the display onto the laptop. Replace the two hinge screws. Reroute and plug in the LCD cable. Screw in the LCD ground screw. Reroute and plug in the antenna cables. Place the wireless card into the motherboard slot. Press down on the wireless card until it clips into place. Plug in the antenna cables. Plug in the keyboard cable. Place the keyboard into the palm rest and secure with the two screws. Starting on the left side, snap the power button cover into the laptop, working your way to the right. Close the laptop and turn it over. Place the memory stick into the memory slot at a 45 degree angle, apply pressure towards the memory slot and press the stick down until the clips lock the memory into place. Place the door onto the laptop and tighten down the two screws. Slide the optical drive into the laptop. Replace the 2.5mm by 8mm locking screw. Replace the two screws on the back of the laptop. Replace the 13 base screws.
Place the battery into the laptop and press down until the latch locks into place. I hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.